Hello, this is Alexander Green, Chief Investment Strategist with the Oxford Club. You know, I'm often asked with thousands of different publicly traded companies, how do you go about selecting those few stocks that actually end up in your recommended portfolio? Well, I'm happy to tell you that the Oxford Club has devoted a great deal of time and research to this question. And what we did is we went back and studied 75 years of stock market history, and we were looking for the companies that made the biggest move, parabolic moves higher. And even though these were different companies and different industries run by totally different groups of people, we found out that they had a number of things in common. So all I'm doing today is screening companies to find uh, firms that have the very same characteristics now that these great performers of the past had before they made that huge move up. And here's what we found. Number one, most of them have 10% or better sales growth, because if you've run a business, you know that you can increase your profits by cutting costs for a while, but after a while you hit a wall, you have to have robust top line growth in order to get really substantial bottom line growth. I'm looking for at least uh, three years of 20% or better Earnings growth, earnings, of course, being the profits of the company. Why three years? Well, a company can sell off a division or have some uh, singular event that causes earnings to spike briefly. But three years of, of rising earnings tells you the company has found a very profitable niche. And I want to see those earnings accelerating. In the most recent quarter, I want to see 25% or better earnings growth. Another measure I look at is return on equity, which is simply the firm's earnings per share divided by its book value per share. Uh, it's a measure of management's efficiency with the use of uh, the firm's capital. And Warren Buffett, who's a value investor, says that return on equity is the single most important criterion when he's buying a company. We're looking for new products and services because companies that are great innovators like Apple and Amazon and Facebook and Netflix and so on are constantly coming out with new uh, and better products. Uh, and that drives the sales that, we, that lead to higher earnings. I'm looking for strong institutional support. You never want to lose sight of the fact that most of the volume that takes place on the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ is not individual investors like you and me, but big mutual funds, hedge funds. And uh, you don't want to be selling the shares that they're buying or vice versa. If you're buying what they're selling, they're out there every day trying to unwind their positions. And, and you're, it's like trying to swim against the tide. It's often hard to know exactly what they're doing, however, because very trickily, they hide their institutional trades in what are called dark pools, which are off of the, of the uh, stock exchange. You can't see the volume. You don't know what's happening. So it's a, that's an important measure to watch. Um, I'm looking at for, for quality of management because just like every sports franchise needs a great leader like a Bear Bryant or a Vince Lombardi or a Phil Jackson. So does a company need a Steve Jobs or Tim Cook or a Larry Ellison or a Bill Gates because those people are, are great leaders. I'm looking at um, technical factors like price and volume. If you're buying a company for a short-term trade, it should be moving up on heavy volume. The fact that it's moving up means that people see that are good things happening at the company. Uh, don't forget that there are people out there every day visiting the company and talking to the employees and the customers and the suppliers and the competitors and all the information they glean filters into the market. And so if a stock is moving up, what that tells you is that people are seeing and hearing good things. And the heavy volume tells you that there's conviction and that the institutions are moving in as well. So these are all factors I look for. And if you put them together, if you have a company with strong sales and earnings growth and a high return on equity, and uh, they're great innovators and they're well led by uh, capable management, uh, and you have institutional support and the proper technical signals, if you have all those things and the planets align, then you have a stock that has an awful lot of short-term potential. So with my momentum strategy, those are the factors that we're looking for. And if you wanna learn more about it, feel free to click on the link below and, and learn more. Um, that's all for today. Again, Alexander Green, Chief Investment Strategist with the Oxford Club, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.